I suppose we have to do it, do we? we got, we'll probably, uh, there's a big women's state of origin game on tonight. New South Wales up against Queensland. But I suppose during the course of the throwdown with Mal Meninga, just the most successful coach in state of origin history for Queensland, we will touch on briefly the game last night at the Adelaide Oval. Good afternoon to you, Mal Meninga. G'day, Jimmy. Only briefly. <laughs> That's a very, very tactful word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. You're oh, still dear. in Adelaide. You you're still basking in the glory, are you? Yeah, no, I am basking in the glory. Um obviously I've got to take a neutral stance because I'm the Aussie Aussie coach, but you know, everyone knows where I'm from. Everyone knows where my allegiance lie. And mm. um yeah, no, it was um great game of footy, Jimmy. You know, I thought everyone played really well. It's just moments that Queensland won. You know, they found answers at the right time and that's what Origin's all about, those moments when you need something to to happen, to, you know, save a try with a fantastic tackle or, you know, high ball catch or, you know, just a, a run that's important, a quick play of the ball, you know, points when it's needed. And that's that's what Queensland did better than New South Wales last night. 26-18, final scoreline after New South Wales led 18 points to 16 with 12 minutes remaining and a player in the sin bin. So there'll be lots of question marks around that. Let's go to the victors first up. It was interesting, Mal. We were in commentary last night with Scotty Sattler and Brett Kamali and we sort of acknowledged, wow, I know he put the kick in for the first try, but Cameron Munster's been quiet, which was a, a good thing from a New South Wales point of view, but also distressing because you know he doesn't stay quiet for long. <laughs> And then yeah. bang, bang, he sets it alight. Yeah, he's um, he stayed in the game though, Cameron. So obviously, you know, he wasn't at his obviously obvious best, but he just did his job. Um, I thought, you know, his, his effort on effort was really good. So he just kept on buzzing in the game, and eventually, when the game needed him, um, he was a bit of the difference. You know, that try that he set up for Hamaso, and then obviously coming up with the, the six-pointer off uh, Leaping Lindsay, we're going to call him. Leaping, oh, wow. Leaping Lindsay, you know, over the top of his his club captain and, you know, catching the <laughs> catching the ball and, and Cameron makes a difference, scores a try, you know. So, yeah, he, he's one of those players, a bit of an enigma sometimes. He just floats in and out of games, but he kept himself in the game last night, I thought, really well. That allows him to do the things that he does. I love the fact that, and, and this was, you know, typified what Queensland are all about. But when Cameron scored that last try, and that put the result beyond doubt, that, that, yeah. that he went then to celebrate and he kicked the ball and he jumped around. And when he turned around, there was no one there because <laughs> no. they'd, they'd all gone to Lindsay Collins, who they all recognised. Yeah. Uh, at one point, Valentine Holmes was a metre from Cam Munster <laughs> when he put it down. And then he went, oh, no, yeah. no, I know no, no. who's created this try. Yeah, exactly, exactly, and um, that'll teach him, eh? <laughs> carrying on like a, carrying on like a, I don't know, Queenslander, I suppose, under them circumstances. But yeah, big Lindsay, you know what? I mean, everyone, like I said, it, everyone played well, and people had moments in that game where they made a difference, which is great, or they made an error, you know. So that's again, that's that's Origin footy. Um, we can't get too emotional about that, Jimmy. You know, oh, we're passionate. Yeah. We're passionate about our states. We can't get too... We just don't get emotional. We make bad decisions when we start to pick it apart, mate. All right. Well, we've made eight changes here to the New South Wales side. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not quite. one three hundred oh one eleven seventy. 1170 If you want to have a chat with Mal Meninga day after Origin 1, uh, give us a call. Zero four. Are we? What's that? Yeah, we will take calls from north of the Tweed. So there you go. <laughs> SEN Gold Coast sixteen twenty and SENQ Q six ninety three AM. Get us on the text line zero four five seven seven three six seven three six. Staying with Queensland, Mal. The big risks taken by Billy Slater in the selection room with Reese Walsh at fullback and Hammer yeah. So Tabuai Fido at centre. Just massive ticks for both of them. What were your thoughts? Yeah. Were they risks? I don't think so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so. I think um, it was courageous, you know, by the selectors and Billy to go that way. But um, except for Reese, who was the only player that hasn't played Origin before. You know, Hamaso played in the centres a couple of years back and did really, really well. He's in form. They're both form players. Um, yes, yes. And obviously they didn't want to risk uh, the risk of, of picking uh, Carlin Ponga. But, you know, Reese Walsh come up, Walsh come up with... Everything that was required of him, yeah. really. You know, he caught every ball. Um, he organised what I what I thought. I was sitting behind uh, the the, the uh, goalposts. Um, that's where I was watching the game, and I thought Reese Walsh and his ability to move the defence to to places where it was needed was really really good. 
You know, I thought his communication and the way he, he uh, organised um, our defensive, or the Queensland defensive line, uh, was exceptional. Uh, that's right. You're the Australian coach. You're impartial yes. about that. <laughs> yes, yes. Slip um, of the tongue. I apologise. Hey, every time he got the ball, Mal, and he drifted across field, like he created that first try for Selwyn Cobbo, but every time he did it, he looked dangerous. He did, yeah. Billy Slater, like, honestly, you know, was like Billy, and um, he can only get better off that, that experience. You oh. know, he's he still had, you know, he made about nine runs and, you know, didn't quite make the 100 metres. Uh, but he's just going to get better with yeah. with uh, more exposure to that that level. You know, he's a player that's exciting, isn't he? The try assist to Selwyn mm. Cobbo, where it barely touched his hands and it was almost a no look pass, is just just that sign of class as well. Hammer maybe surprised us all with his speed. He just pushed away from the fox and then swerved around to Desco, yeah. and the smile yeah. from ear to ear on his face going over <laughs> to score the try. Oh, uh, it's it's great. Him and Selwyn, they're just the smiling assassins, aren't they? Yeah. Both sides of the footy field. Um, well, Hammer say his his um, efforts with the Dolphins have been sensational. You know, he he I think he deserves to be there, mate. You know, I thought he deserved to be in the team, um, just purely on his form. But he's he's running seventeen to twenty odd runs every game and yep. making you know a lot of meters, and he proved that again yesterday. And he's he, by his pure speed. Um, it allows him to defend really well. You know, obviously he's, yes. he's an intelligent player and he handled that occasion really, really well. And when given the opportunity, he scores tries. Uh, no doubt about that. So here's here's the scary thing from a New South Wales point of view. So uh, Hamaso is 21, Reese Walsh is 20. Uh, and then the other guy I wanted to make mention of, he got the official man of the match as judged by the Australian selectors. So that's you, Laurie Daly and Darren Lockyer at just 24 years of age. Ruben Cotter has played two state of origin games, <laughs> played 80 minutes both games, and has yep. now got a strike rate of he gets man of the match 50% of the time he plays origin. He is remarkable, Mal. Well, he started. He was he was picked on the bench, Jimmy, wasn't he? And he yeah. started in the middle um, as a front row. And he's not the biggest fella that's no. going around, but he's just purely on on effort and uh, intent. And and then they lost, you know, Tommy Gilbert early, um, 80, about 80 minutes into the game, and all of a sudden he gets pushed to an edge defensively, which, as you know, is difficult to defend, particularly if you're middle and you don't play edge before. And he did yeah. it the exactly same same way last year uh, in the first yes. game. Um, uh, he got through this game, you know, thankfully un unhurt. So you know, he'll go into game two with the fingers crossed. But he was exceptional, 43-odd tackles, 10-odd runs, but his defense is unbelievably good. And funny, isn't it? You know, you talk about the tackles and the runs, but the time he dived on the dangerous kick. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, that that's that doesn't come up in the stats. The times that he knocked down the pass from Tavita Pangai Jr. and then dives on that as well. We thought exactly one of the massive origin plays was right on half time. New South Wales were going to have the last say. Ben Hunt, who we, we'd identified a bit earlier, just out on his feet because of the effort, rushes Nathan Cleary, forces the error, then dives on the ball and then yes. jumps up and runs to the centre of the field saying, boys, boys, pack the scrum, pack the scrum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. well, that's that's origin for you. That's yeah. that's the type of player you want, you know, in your footy team. So, you know, it was all Queensland. Well, it wasn't all Queensland last night, but, you know, like I said before, Queensland wins that battle on the ground, as you mentioned. Um, you know, have got that intent that wins those moments and, that was probably the difference. And I mean, it, was, it was even, like you mentioned, it was 18-16. Uh, Flegler gets sent to the to the sin bin yeah. uh, for head-on Tommy, Tommy Turbo. Then all of a sudden, um, the Queenslanders lift with 12 men, um, had majority of possession. But the, the work that they did um, allowed them to have that majority of possession uh, in that time frame. And they come up with, you know, two important tries. Yeah. Um, it was incredible performance. Um, one build on character, one build on resilience and effort and, and some at times some, some really good decisions. We've got a stack of people who want to give us a call. So call now. We'll put you in the queue after the break. one three hundred oh one eleven seventy. 1170 Before we go to that break, Mal, uh, pretend you are an advisor for New South Wales to Brad Fittler. What would you be telling him now about that 80-minute performance? Oh, he won't panic. I mean, they had heaps of opportunities to score points. And Queensland, like I said, Queensland come up with the right answers, you know, to a lungy, you know, two try savers in yeah. the first half. Um, I think, you know, Cobbo come off the off the line and, and shut down uh, Stephen Crichton before he get a, a ball to, 
to Toho, you know. So there's plenty of opportunities that New South Wales created that just couldn't get there, you know. So um, second game, better execution. There's a bit more points in game game two. Um, Latrell will be back probably, yeah. I would say, Jakey Tvojevic maybe as well. Um, that's probably the only changes I see in their footy team. You don't panic, Jimmy. You know, you don't panic. I think, you know, the Blues did enough to win the footy game. But, you know, like I said, right at the start, Queensland had the answers to it. Yeah. And they mightn't have the answers in game two. You know, um, New South Wales, when you look at the, the series, you know, there's not been a lot of three nils, is there? Or two nils, really. Um, so... It's going to be it's going to be difficult for New South Wales going up there, but they'll be motivated. Um, they have to win. Queensland want to win. You know what I mean? Yeah. So sometimes a game that's why it's always one all is because of the mental application. So Queensland, in the back of their mind, Jiminy Cricket sits on their shoulders and says, you know, we we need to win this, but you no, know, if we do, we'll if we don't, well, you know, we go into game three, where New South Wales thinking if we don't win this, we're gone. So. Yeah. There, could, there will definitely be a different mindset change. There's no doubt about it. Uh, Australian coach, elector, and uh, state of origin great for Queensland. Mal Meninga here on a Thursday. The throwdown with Mal Meninga. I tell you what, we've got heaps of texts and call. We'll get to a break, Mal, and then after that, we'll come back with some calls. You're good for that? Sounds good. Oh, yeah, what a surprise. Mal's in a great mood. Of <laughs> Beautiful one oh, day. Mate, so don't be so glum and gloomy. Fair I know. Nickel. Come on. I know. Pick, your, pick your act up. You know what? You know what? You're going to have to do the next two hours of the radio show because otherwise people are going to go, oh, fair you can this bloke. Yeah. I'll <laughs> anyway. fall asleep the way you're going. <laughs> Righto. We'll get to a break and then we're back with more.